So today, Michelle, we're gonna make braised red cabbage, a very acidic braised red cabbage, because we're gonna use that acid to cut through the richness of the rest of our dish. We just start with grapeseed oil in okay. the pan, and this is just to sweat our vegetables. I'm gonna add my vegetables in small batches. Why are you choosing to add them in small batches? Because they actually cook a little more evenly. The cabbage has a lot of moisture in it, and so I wanna get a little bit of that sauteing and that sweating going. Then add a little more off to the side of the pan. And add a little more cabbage. Just helps it steam to have that surface space. Oh yeah. And so now we've gotten all of our cabbage in, all of our onions in. Now we can season. So we're gonna put a little salt. Starting to smell like cabbage. Yeah. Okay. And our honey. And I'm gonna use the rubber spatula. And I don't wanna get color on this, but it's okay to, to go at a nice high heat. So if I wanted to make this with another, incorporate this in another menu, what could you see this dish working with? Well, whenever you start talking about taking a product or a recipe and incorporating it within another dish, what you have to do is you really have to think about what is that flavor that you're, that you're getting out of it? What am I getting out of, out of it? And again, this is going to be high acid. So um, I would always want to go with this as using it with something with high fat that it can cut through. So like, you know, uh, any sort of a rich piece of meat, you could easily serve this same braised cabbage with a very, very fatty piece of pork. Like you could eat this with bacon right now. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> red wine. You want to taste it? Yeah, let me make sure it's, it's to my liking before you pour it in. Now we'll put our aromatics in. Today we're going to go star anise. And I love your trick of using um, a, a tea bag in here because then you don't have to fish for the things you have to take out before you eat it. You don't want your guests crunching on this. Listen to her giving me now. credit for it. That was your trick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes before we strain the liquid. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove our tea bag. And it's hot, huh? It's hot. Grab, you know, grab a good amount of your cabbage and just get it, get yourself a start here. So you're not dumping too much at one time. And so I am gonna go ahead and, a lot of times you see me push yeah. when I'm straining. This one I'm not gonna push. I wanna keep a little of the liquid. You have your silverware. You know, the only time that I ate cabbage in, during my childhood was any time my mom went out of town and my dad had to cook us dinner, he'd immediately make brats. Oh, and really? That's the only time, like, my mom rarely cooked it. Um, <laughs> so I just associate it with my dad. Isn't it? <laughs> He's like, know, yes, she's gone. I can make my favorite meal. And we'd be like, oh, that is, okay. Oh, my God, that is so funny. This is really good. Really, yeah? really good. And so the, the acidity, see how, you see how acidic it is? Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Dad, for giving me that, <laughs> that introduction to, yeah. to these flavors. All right. Well, thank you, Michelle. Thank you.